from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. Sonata recording, take three. Just give me five minutes and I'll have the other number ready. I'll get a smoke. Next number, boys. Somebody in for a licking? You bet. We're gonna smear it. Yeah, but ten against one. That's not very fair. Ah, come on. Come on. What's it all about? None of your business. Scared to tell me? No, I'm not as scared. I'll fight you even. And if I can help it, I just want to know why the gang was. We don't like him. We don't want him in our neighborhood or going to our school. I've been living here as long as you. What's he got, smallpox or something? We don't like his religion. His religion? Look, mister, he's a dirty... Now, ah, hold on. I see what you mean. You must be a bunch of those Nazi werewolves I've been reading about. Mister, are you screwy? Not me. I'm an American. Well, what do you think we are? Nazis. Don't call me a Nazi. My father's a sergeant in the army. He been wounded even. Wounded, huh? Say, I bet he got some of that blood plasma. He was wounded so bad he had to get it three times. Son, anybody in your family ever go to the blood bank? Sure, my mother and my father both. Uh-huh. You know what? I bet you maybe his pop's blood helped save your dad's life. That's bad. What's bad about it? Well, don't you see? Your father doesn't go to the same church as his father does. That's awful. Do you think maybe if your father knew about it in time, he would rather have died than to take blood from a man of another religion? Would you have wanted him to die? Would your mom want him to die? No. Look, fellas, religion makes no difference, except maybe to a Nazi or somebody as stupid. Why, people all over the world worship God in many different ways. God created everybody. He didn't create one people better than another. Your blood's the same as mine. Mine's the same as his. 
Do you know what this wonderful country is made of? It's made up of a hundred different kind of people and a hundred different ways of talking and a hundred different ways of going to church. But they're all American ways. Wouldn't we be silly if we went around hating people because they comb their hair different than ours? Wouldn't we be a lot of dopes? <laughs> My dad came from Italy, but I'm an American. But should I hate your father because he came from Ireland or France or Russia? Wouldn't I be a first-class fathead? You guys remember Pearl Harbor? Why, that Jap socked us so it looked like we could never do anything about it. But a couple of days later, something very important happened. Close your eyes and let me tell you about it. Go on, go on, close your eyes, all of you. I want you to imagine it. There was a Jap battleship, the Haruna, and one of our planes spotted it. Do you know what a Tama battleship? It takes guts and know-how and teamwork. And our boy sure needed plenty of it, because that Jap was throwing up enough flak to get out and walk home on. But the pilot had only one thing on his mind, to get over that ship. And he did. And then the bombardier pushed a button, and a 500-pound tomato smacked that Jap right in the middle. Yep, they sank it. And every American threw his head back and felt much better. The pilot of that ship was named Colin Kelly. An American and a Presbyterian. And you know who dropped the bombs? Meyer Levin, an American and a Jew. You think maybe they should have called the bombing off because they had different religions? Think about that, fellas. Use your good American heads. Don't let anybody make suckers out of you. Well, gotta go to work. What do you work? I sing. Ah, oh, you're a kid. Come here. Now you all stand here, and no hissing aloud. What is America to me? A name, a map, or a flag I see. A certain word, democracy. What is America to me? house I live in, a plot of earth, a street, the grocer and the butcher, and the people that I meet, the children in the playground, the faces that I see, all races and religions, that's America. place I work in, the worker at my side, the little town or city where my people lived and died, the howdy and the handshake, the air of feeling free and the right to speak my mind out, that's America to the things I see about me, the big things and the small, the little corner newsstand and the house a mile tall, the wedding and the churchyard, the laughter and the tears, the dream that's been a growing for a hundred and fifty The house, the room, pavement of the city, or a garden all in bloom, the church, the school, the clubhouse, the million lights I see, but especially the people. America to me. So long, man. 
This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.